Hey, are you ready for some good news? Do you see the links that I go to to make sure that these videos tax you as little as possible? And I have this terrible suspicion that you don't even care. Is that true? I, I wish you would talk to me. Anyway, first up, new research offers potential benefits for people living with neurofibromatosis. Specifically, this research conducted by scientists at the University of Plymouth pertains to neurofibromatosis type 2, which causes the formation of benign brain tumors and can also result in shortened life expectancy as well as vision and hearing problems. NF2 affects approximately 1 in 33,000 people. The University of Plymouth researchers found that an increased concentration of prion protein, or PRPC, is likely responsible for the formation of schwannomas, a type of tumor commonly developed by NF2 patients. There are drugs already in use that could be used to manage this overproduction of PRPC, which means these findings could lead to the creation of an effective therapy in a relatively short time. Abnormally high concentrations of PRPC have also been linked to breast, prostate, and gastric cancers, which means this research could yield benefits to people beyond those with NFT. The research is published in the journal Oncogene. Next up, more good news for your brain, as researchers have identified potential biomarkers that could be used for the immediate diagnosis of brain injuries. Diagnosing brain injuries quickly and correctly has been a challenge for doctors. As a result, brain injuries often go undiscovered until patients develop more serious symptoms, which can make treatment more difficult and full recovery less likely. Hopefully, that may be about to change thanks to researchers at the University of Birmingham. A team at the university's Institute of Inflammation and Aging has identified three proteins associated with inflammation as early biomarkers of traumatic brain injury. The three proteins, CST5, Axin1, and TRAIL, were detected in blood samples taken from patients suspected of having suffered brain trauma within the first hour after their injuries. As with many medical stories I share in this series, the research here is very new and a lot of work needs to be done before these biomarkers can be relied upon to diagnose brain injuries in the field. But if these three proteins do turn out to be reliable indicators that a brain injury has taken place, they could lead to faster and more effective treatments of traumatic brain injuries, which are one of the leading causes of neurological disabilities. This study is published in scientific reports. And finally, researchers at the University of Washington have invented a cell phone that doesn't need a battery. The phone was developed at UW's Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering. It requires such a small amount of power to function that it is able to draw what it needs from ambient light and radio signals. The phone works by converting vibrations in its microphone and speaker into analog radio signals, skipping the power-consuming step of converting those signals from analog to digital. The UW engineer's prototype phone needs only 3.5 microwatts of power in order to operate. The phone was able to gather sufficient energy from ambient radio waves and light collected via a tiny solar cell. The prototype was able to send and receive calls using Skype. Incredibly, it was assembled from already available components. The paper on this battery-free cell phone is published in the Proceedings of the Association for Computing Machinery on Interactive, Mobile, Wearable, and Ubiquitous Technologies. That's a hell of a title for a journal, isn't it, Adi? I thought so. Anyway, new research could benefit neurofibromatosis patients, a series of potential biomarkers for brain injuries has been identified, and engineers invent a cell phone that doesn't need a battery. That's the good news. 
Hey folks, one more thing before I go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.